Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sroxanon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and we're doing Orientation Part 1 and 2. They combine into two, but I'm going to skip the first 17 minutes because we are, I already did a uh, review for that earlier on. So this is the, um, so we're going to catch up to where that left off. So we start off with Daisy obliterates the roach alien thing and they are looking for people and then Macy's a guy and hides but he finds her and it had like a really good fight scene that happened there but he managed to like put her up against the wall and to put a device on like right here um I forgot what they call it and then um the team is in disbelief about where they are and all this other stuff that's just happening. <laughs> Vex like, it's magic. Then Colson says, like, maybe we, maybe we should split up. And Colson's like, no. I mean, Max says, no, we're not splitting up. Have you never seen an alien movie? That is not what happens. <laughs> so they um, all go together in one big group down the hallway. And then the guy puts something in, like I said, in May. And then the Cree come in. And then they get locked up in jail. And then Yo-Yo and Mac uh, are in the ice box because he tried to knock out the Kree and that didn't work out too well. And then the guy covers for the, for the team and it works for the most part. Then the Kree want to send Matt to the crater. Um, but um, and then we cut to where they go to the ship and rescue people. And they think it might be a um, a Cree um, staying ground with the large on salt on the earth. And then Daisy rescues Mac and Yo-Yo. Then May and Simmons get to the ship. And then May is actually flying the spaceship, which is actually kind of cool. I really like that. And then Team Shield is trying to get answers. It turns out they're in the future, about 90 years into the future. And then the guy tells them to, um, I think with the same as Zeke. So Zeke says for them to blend in. And then they run into a girl. And basically it's like a hub of poor. It's like, I guess, the super, super lower class. And the girl takes um, Coulson to um, Virgil's room, the guy that died. And then the Kree feed the people like animals, literal animals. And then um, Zeke, uh, stat oh, not Zeke, but some random guy killed a uh, gifted. It's like one of the um, humans that basically you like painted your forehead gold and like around your neck and you're supposed to be all high and mighty and stuff. So Simmon, Simmons helps him and then they take her. Then Deke got mad at the girl who's like, what, what happened? Like, what's going on? The Simmons is basically an upper class. Then, um, as the team's kind of bickering, Daisy decides to tell um, Deke. And so she passed out following him. Um, basically, it's like the framework again. It basically, she got hit by the beam and is on Earth, but it's some kind of framework. The, same, um, the Simmons gets questions by a Cree dude. It's not like full on Cree. I want to say he's like a hybrid of the Cree, be just because he has um actual hair and like more features than the Cree do. And then um, there's a met uh, metric inspection, and people are going Cray like the Hunger Games. They had to kill a life to earn a life. So once they kill someone, they're safe or something like that. So then it's May versus um, the guy, and it's like a really good fight scenes. And then the girl kills them, kills him, and basically um, the other guy had um, that. Basically, what happened was Colson and Mac and yeah, yeah, all got injected with um, the metric thing in their um, in their wrist or like right here. And basically, um, the guy kind of betrayed him and kind of stuck against the wall for the guy to shoot them. Then May comes in and rescues them, and then the girl kills the guy. There you go. And then we have the Kree um, 
Uh, okay, so then we cut to back to the upper class where Simmons is, and so basically, um, the Cree god brings out the god that she saved, and basically kills him because he has a cut on his um, head, which could could have easily been remedied, but he likes perfection, so he killed him to a weird girl that has like this like. Um, two balls in her hand, and she re releases them, and it kills the guy. Anyway, so, um, then she starts to freak out, like, why should you do this? And she, and then he says, you need to be quiet, and takes something out of his ear, and puts it into her ear, so she can't hear anything. Then, um, we cut to where Zeke blames Daisy for how the earth is, because of her quaking, and she was on the news, and basically, they, this, that's how the earth ended because of her quaking. Okay. And then, um, then we go back to Simmons where basically, um, she said you have to entertain our guests and she, she can only hear what he is saying to her when, um, he says her name, but everything else you can't hear. So anyway, that's the end of the episode and I don't know how to tape this episode. I guess I'll give this a B. It's because it's so freaking out there. I don't understand. I feel like I need more context on about how everything is going to be done because I legit don't understand what's happening. And I've watched the first 17 minutes and I was like, okay, I understand the situation, but I feel like I don't give enough backstory into actually what's happened. And I feel like if we have a little bit more backstory, which well, I hope will at least be covered later on in the season, it will be more understandable to me. Because so I was like, what? I feel like too much was happening or something. Anyway, I have a lot of issues with this, but still, I thought it was a decent episode, and like I said, I'll give this a B minus. Yeah. So, I think that's going to do it for this video, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below on what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? And just tell me what you think down below, and then subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.